Welcome, y'all. Aim Talk. We back with another episode. I have the owner of the Jet Setter clothing brand, yes, Quay Hawk. What's good, my boy? How you feeling? I'm well. How are you? I'm all right, man. I'm chilling. All right, let's get right into it. Let's get right into it, y'all. Um, who is Quay Hawk? Where are you born and raised? Um, I was born and raised in Pleasantville, New Jersey. Uh, but I mean, I'm, I lived all over Atlantic County, Mays Landing, the city, Agover Township. So, show me, I'll be everywhere. Okay. Um, do you have any siblings? Yeah, I got four. Okay, and where do you fall in? Oldest, youngest? Uh, second oldest. Second oldest. Okay, okay. You're right up there at the top now. Um, how do you do? You feel like that gives you a lot of responsibility? Yeah, nah, for sure. It's definitely a lot of responsibility. I take care of a lot of things in my family and you feel me in my own life. But yeah, for sure. Now your relationship status: Are you married or single? Single right now. Okay, okay, ladies, he's single. You know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? come correct. Now, do you have any children? Nah, I don't got no kids. Why not? I'm working. I don't okay. got no time for no kids right now. Okay, okay. All right. Well, I don't know if you could change his mind. That's up to y'all. <laughs> um, your thoughts on children? Oh no, nah, I definitely want to have a family. I'm trying to like have a little basketball team, like feel me. Okay. Like some okay. Ball, I'm on some Levar Ball type shit. Okay, okay. Shout out to Levar Ball, the big baller brand. Yeah, you know, we gotta support us. So you do, so you do have beliefs in marriage then? For sure. All right. So now let's talk about the jet setters. As you can see right there, um, that's the latest hoodie right there going crazy. Going crazy right now. Yeah, I definitely tried it on. It's a real comfortable feel. Um, it's definitely nicely designed. Uh, how did you come up with the name for your company? Um, It came from when I first made my first song. Uh, In the song, I called myself Jetson. And okay. then I was like, oh, all right. And I mean, how can I use Jetson and Jet Setter or, or turn that into something to be a brand? Because it was like... The music wasn't really bringing in a lot of money right away, so I was like, how can I get more people to know what I'm doing? So then I took the name Jetson, turned that into Jet Setter because it ran with, like, Trendsetter, and then, okay. you know, man, now we Jet Setting. So, the okay, so originally you did the music. For sure. So the brand was created to help promote the music. Right, yeah. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So this is really curated by the music to sustain the music. Okay, I'm with you. I'm with you. Now, how long has Jet Setters been in business? Uh, Jet Setters been in business uh, for three years now. We've been selling clothes for about two years now, and now we're really trying to turn it into more than just being merch and then it being to an actual official full-blown clothing brand. You know what I mean? So gotcha. Now, tell me about your your latest design. What was the inspiration? Um, the inspiration was just to have people feel like the world is theirs. Like, you know what I mean? With being a jet setter, you want to be a person that's just trending and running your race in your own, you know what I mean, your own way and showing everybody that you can run the world. Like, you know what I mean? So that's what it is. Gotcha. The world is yours. Go out there and take over whatever you want. Now, how do you stay updated with the latest trends in the fashion industry? Um, I'm just in tune with everything. I'm in New York. I'm in L.A. I'm up in North Jersey. I'm just watching. Moving around, huh? Be okay, so you got to get in the room, guys. You know, you can't just sit on your couch and expect the world to recognize you. Right. You have to actually get out there and meet people. Nah, for sure. Okay, got you. Now, what was one of the biggest challenges you faced in your career as a fashion designer, and how did you overcome it? Um, The biggest challenge is just kind of right now still on the same thing. It's just getting more people to know what you got going on and believing in what you're trying to do and feeling, giving them a feeling of when you give them the clothes or what your clothes mean to, like, to have somebody, I don't know how to explain it, like. The quality? Nah, not the quality, but, like, it's deeper than just the clothes, like, to have people have a attachment the brand. to your brand. You the brand, so like okay. More building the brand than actually making the clothes. The clothes is the easy part to me, like, designing, and I know what's cool, at least to me. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like, now how do I get people to like my brand and, I want to wear that and want to promote it. You want to be a here. part of it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Okay. I got you. I got you. Um, are there any particular fashion errors that influence your work? What you mean? Like errors of fashion. You know, there was 90s uh, fashion uh, and then probably, the 80s. Probably 90s. Probably 90s fashion. Okay. I like that a lot. 90s Especially is Especially with everything going back to like man bagging and stuff and oversized. So it's definitely like good time. Like I like this era with the clothes is going at. It's going okay. back to that. Got you. 50 Cent versus Stevie J. Who you got? 50 Cent, of course. 
Okay. We okay. talking about fighting, rapping, right. Oh, right. everything. Yeah, but yeah. Right, in a boxing match. Yeah, fifty cent for sure. Okay. Any particular reason? Oh, fifty cent used to box. I ain't never seen Stevie J fight. Okay. Okay. What advice would you have for any aspiring fashion designers? Um, just trust your gut and don't try to be too much into the trend. Make what make what make you feel like make what you like. Don't be trying to be, oh, I gotta make the crop sweatpants or the hair, the mohair sweatpants because that's what's trending. That's not what's going to make your brand grow. It's so just, pretty much what he's saying is trying to keep up, you always get left behind. For sure. Riding your own lane. Gotcha, gotcha. What do you see as the future of fashion, and um, how do you plan on evolving with it? Um, I don't know where the future of fashion is going. Like, It's just so crazy when you be in different areas and regions. It's like, yo, this it's just different, but... um. I don't know, just keep staying in tune with everything. That's how you evolve with it, you know what I mean? Just staying inside the fashion world, understanding what's going on, and then making your own mark while still trying to stay in the lines of what's going on. Mm, good, good. So what is unique about your company? What's unique about my company is the quality and then for the pricing that you can buy for it. You know what I mean? We got high quality for a price that everybody can afford from the local kid that work at a corner store to somebody that's making a whole bunch of money. Gotcha. Anybody can wear it. All right, who are your primary competitors in your market? At least just give me three of them. Um, Big name or what you mean? In your market, locally. Right, right now, um, I think Cozy Clothing is a... Shout out to Cozy. It's a fire clothing brand. I think G5 Fashion is a fire clothing okay, brand. Okay, shout out to G5. Um, I like what Frankie and Maliha be doing. They, okay. they dope. I mean, they're not really in the fashion, but... Shout they, out to Frankie. Then, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, BP. Ah, BP. His, his stuff is fire too. Okay, okay, okay. How would you describe your company's success so far? Um, I think we are on the rise and we're becoming more successful. More people are starting to get to know us, especially at home, because I do a lot of stuff more up from like Maze Landing and up going to Philly and all that. So now okay. that more people in Atlantic City and around the damn areas are starting to find about me, so it's like it's starting to grow. I just I can just see it. What is the favorite item you dropped to date? Um, probably the first ever hoodies that we did, the um, the embroidery stitch hoodies. Mm -hmm. Those, those are probably my favorite hoodies that we did. Yeah, those was classic. Yeah, they blended fire. with the June. Okay, okay. Have you ever dated one of your models? Nah, never dated one of my models. So you just keep business, business. For sure, for okay. sure. J Cole, Kendrick, or Drake? I mean, J Cole did some sucker shit. So uh, he gonna have ah. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take Drake. I'm going to take Drake. Okay. Shout out to Drizzy. What inspires you the most? What inspires me the most? Um, Just my family. Yeah, my family, my current situation where I'm trying to get to, what's next. So, yeah, that's what inspires me the most of my family. What are people always surprised to learn about Quay Hall? Um, I don't even know for real. Would you rather fly or drive? Fly. Why? Because I need to get where I need to go. And I got to get back where I got to film in and out. Devin Haney or Ryan Garcia? Devin Haney. What is one dish you can make from scratch? One dish I can make from scratch? Without a recipe. Oh, all right. I'm going to go chicken Alfredo and keep it light on them. I don't want to give them too much. Okay. And which social media app do you use the most to promote and market your brand? Instagram. Okay, Instagram. Shout out to the gram. For sure. A lot of people use the gram. Um, what were the three top models you work with? Who were they? Um, three top models that I worked with so far. Shoot, honestly, I haven't worked with no models around here yet. Okay. Yeah, honestly, it'd be my friends for real, but they ain't no real official models. So. Okay, so models, you know, he's saying he's going to be reaching out. So let's make these connections happen. Sixers or the Knicks? Knicks. Did he do it? That nigga did it. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Said he did it, y'all. For sure that nigga did it. So everybody low, huh? <laughs> oh, man. Who are the top five players right now that should be in the NBA, NBA MVP race? Um, We got any, any order? Any order. All right, Jalen Brunson. Okay, Jalen Brunson. Um, Luka. Luka. Uh, Jokic. Okay. Um, what, I got two spots left? Yep. 
I mean, I could say I, Aunt Edwards. Okay. Because they, they in the top seed on the West. And then, just because that's my man, it's Bron. Every time. Bron, Bron can be any. Okay, that was a sympathy pick. <laughs> Shay, Shay Gill just could have got in there. <laughs> yeah, Shay Gill just definitely could have got in there. All right, yeah, Shay Gill just for sure. Okay. All right, now, and um, tell the people, what do you have coming up next? What should they be looking forward to? Um, Next, we got our spring collection about to drop, a couple of t-shirts, shorts, sweatpants, hats, Um, and then we're going to do another little summer drop, and then outside of the clothes, I got some more music videos about to drop. I just dropped two music video, music videos recently, um, UNLV Flow and How This On My Block. It's on my YouTube. Okay. Uh, under, just type in Quay Hawk. And then, Quay Hawk, that's the YouTube, Quay Hawk. And then... um. Yeah, we got a new project probably coming. We're working right now with Corey. You got a name for the project? Um, Blooming Through Chaos. Okay. Now, around when should they be expecting that? Um, Probably next fall, honestly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Stay tuned, y'all. Stay tuned. Yo, Quay Hawk, want to thank you for your time, baby. Always a lot. Appreciate you. We out.